Lobo and Yao Chan. Full skill description. You want to know what these two commanders will do before they are released officially in Rise of Kingdoms? Let's go ahead and let's find out in this video because some of these commanders, like Dao Chan, it might just surprise us with what they have packed. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today we're going to talk about the two new commanders. We are going to check their skills, the full description of their skills. So let's get into it. Lubu, Mighty Demon Lord, Leadership, Conquering and Skill. Holy moly scrapioli. A lot of people were saying it's going to be archers. A lot of people were saying it's going to be cavalry. And here we have him. He's going to be Leadership conquering and skill that is very unexpected i was literally hoping that he might just be a calf commander let's go ahead and let's see more about this commander this commander is a limited edition we already know that from the patch notes history a master of military especially adept in archery and horseback riding well that's why we're all expecting him to be like an archer commander or a calf commander not leadership for his outstanding skill was called warrior of warriors well let's see if the skills will reflect regarding that and his horse names red rabbit horse of horses piercing sky the rage require 1000 deal direct damage up to three targets in a wide sector fan shape area 120 degree in front of him the damage dealt for each target is reduced by 15 percent for each additional target and the defense of all targets hit is reduced by several seconds okay so we get the multipliers over here i really hope that this is wrong i honestly really hope do we do we have to to spend for this commander 800 damage factor up to three targets with a 15 percent additional damage reduced from each target well okay let's not just take rusty decisions right because we've, we've done that on some previous commanders and they end up being some super amazing, really great commanders, right? Still, <clears throat> the numbers on the spreadsheet just doesn't look very nice to my eyes. 800 damage factor. I would say that it's a little bit low. Defense reduction up to 40%. That is significant. That is way more than Ethelflaed can do. And if I'm correct, this is for 3 seconds, the defense reduction. That's a significant defense reduction. A very good defense debuffer. Let's go into his second skill. Horse made of horses. Troops led by this commander do more damage. All damage increase when attacking cities. 10%. Well, that's kind of a flat number for all the recent legendaries. Kind of simple, just literally simple. 10% damage increase. The defense commanders that they are introducing now into the game, they have a lot more as a garrison skills than just a... 10% damage decrease. They kind of have a couple more options over there in there on the passive skill. Let's go further. Maybe there is something that might just shine up in the end. Warrior of Warriors. How about that? Passive skills. Troops led by this commander receive a bonus attack. Passive boost. Normal attack has a chance to further increase the attack of the troops led by this commander. If the army include Dao Chan. Ooh, this is very exciting. This is very exciting. So they are making commanders to be dependent or to have at least some options with other commanders. This bonus attack power is increased by a few seconds. The effect can be triggered no more than once every five seconds. So from the pictures, we know that the attack bonus is increased for three seconds. And here we have it with Yao Chan. It's a base of 50%. And it goes up to 120 for 3 seconds. Now 120, that's a pretty significant attack increase. But with half YSG as well, which does 100% to Arshans. And he's like the first commander that you start Rise of Kingdom with. Or among the first. And his attack bonus, if it's 15%, the passive one. And if you don't have Dao Chan, the attack bonus increase is 80%. Which is still very significant flying general <laughs> will he have wings <laughs> that's very interesting the commander squad gains a bonus to troops capacity when this commander announced a rally the maximum capacity of the summoned troops is increased all right so if you want to take him out from your city he has a 10 percent troops capacity and if you want to 
launch rallies, you get another 10% troops capacity. Meaning that if you plan to rally a flag, I'm giving an example with him, you're going to get 1,650,000. The flag is 1.5 million garrison. Now, if you want to use Mehmed with him or you want to use Aetherfled, you can add another 10% and that will go up to 1.8 million. If you want to rally a city, you have to add your bonuses from your alliance technology, which is 20%, then you can add his bonuses 10%. And then depending if you use Adolfred or Mehmed, you can add another 10%. But it's always the base rally capacity. For example, if you want to do a rally in Ark of Osiris on the Shrine of Life, which has a million capacity, this rally will be increased to 1.1 million, just to make you understand even more. Expert Sky Scorcher. Hold on. Enhance Piercing Sky. Oh my god. Deals direct damage target in a wide sector in front of him. Up to three targets. Damage multiplier 1000. I think I showed something at the beginning of the video, if you all remember. The damage of his next target is reduced by 15%. Why? It's only 1000. All targets hit are reduced defense. Uh, this is the defense reduction by up to 50% for three seconds. Now, as a defense reduction, I do have to say that this is amazing. Like 50% defense reduction, I don't think we have commanders that reduce defense that high. We have attack until I can do that for like two seconds, if I'm correct. Then we have Constantine can reduce attack for five seconds by 40%, but defense by 50%, I think 30% is the highest we got so far. This guy will this guy will do 50%. That's pretty huge, if you want to ask me. But I just feel that this 1000 is a little bit too low. Personally, I would make this commander an epic. I wouldn't make him legendary. They should have just released him as epic, to be honest. Even with all the attack boost, we can look at Keira. Keira, for example, is an epic, right? And if you look at her four skill, skill damage bonus, 80%. Non-scenario battles, the normal attacks troops led by this commander have a 10% chance to increase kill damage by 80% for 3 seconds. Attack is probably a little bit better because also increase the counter attack, increase your normal attack and obviously boost your skill damage. Keira is an epic and does that, 80% skill damage bonus. And then when you look her primary skill once is maxed out, 1000 in a forward facing pan shaped area. And then you have her expertise with even more skill damage. Now, how about that? And she's just that epic. Maybe the description is wrong, you know, because this is from rockguides.ru. When I've done the skill description from Harold and Zenobia, they were absolutely right about the descriptions. So I'm pretty sure that this is very accurate regarding that. I don't know, we will wait for the official release of the commanders and then we will see. But 1000... All right, so here we have Diao Chan, Slide Dancer. Connection, that is integration, is just the Russian translation to English. Peacekeeping and support. I don't mind the peacekeeping and support. The integration is pretty bad, but it is what it is. So let's go further down and let's see what it says about her. We already know she's a limited edition available on the Dynasty Warrior 9 temporary crossing event. Diao Chan, a talented singer and dancer, grew up with Wang Yun, adoptive father. She was considered one of the most beautiful women of her era. She agreed to bring discord between <laughs> Tong Zhu and Lu Bu. So apparently they had discord back then, like thousands of years ago. How about that? Managed to gain confidence in both and destroy their friendship. Let's get into her skills because if she's that beauty, we might just be charmed, right? <laughs> skills. Dance of Chaos. Active skills. 1000 for the next four seconds all attack each attack has a hundred percent chance of causing direct damage to the current target direct damage multiplier starts with 150 and goes up to 350 i do have to say that 350 that's pretty decent you do that times four and that's a thousand four hundred obviously the smaller numbers they are not the same as a bigger number, but hey, that's a lot of skill damage packed with an epic commander. I mean, I'm super hyped about Yao Chan, to be honest, just by reading this, because she's going to be a free commander that everyone will have. And in the end, you don't necessarily need to put her with Lubu if you don't really like Lubu so much. You can put her with any other commander as a second in command to offer you some support or some damage increase. Let's go ahead and let's see her other skills because so far I'm super hyped and we don't 
even got to her expertise. Dance of the Silver Lotus. All damage dealt to Barbarian is increased, so 25% damage increased to Barbarians and 25% experience. She is a Peacekeeper, it makes sense that she has that. Another epic Peacekeeper? I wouldn't say no to that, to be honest. Maybe I can finally rest Max Woman, because I'm literally using Max Woman right now. That would be a thing, having her as a Peacekeeping. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite alright with that. Let's go on to her third skill, Dance of the Roses. Troops led by this commander can increase attack and defense, 10% attack and 10% defense. And this can be used with any type of troops. So that's super exciting. Again, for an epic commander, you can use her with any other primary commanders. Like you can even do like a Guan Yu or if you need or a Sadin or a Genghis or whichever other commander comes into your mind. Sun Tzu and Yao Chan. Ooh. <laughs> Lubu is gonna kick Sansa. <laughs> I'm just joking. But still, a lot of options you can um, go with Diao Chan. Let's go further down. Dance of Sherry Blossoms. After using her active skills, some of the lightly wounded soldiers are healed. Troops will receive additional healing if Lubu is part of the army. The effect can be triggered no more often than once every few seconds. Alright, so after reading the picture, now I finally get it what they're trying to say by this. So you get a 500 healing multiplier and if you have Lubu you get another 500. This is what I'm understanding after reading on the picture. So the picture that everyone has saw, Dance of the Sherry Blossom, it says a portion of slightly wounded unit led by this commander are healed after using a skill healing factor 250 because it always starts on the first skill on that picture they don't put the maximum skills and receives an additional healing when troops include Lubu and that's healing factor 250. The effect can only trigger most than once every 5 seconds. So you can get a thousand healing with Lobo, meaning that even without him you can still benefit from this healing. So it's not necessary that you have to put them together. How about that? I thought that this healing only works with Lubu when I first read it. Even more reasons to use Yao Chan. I'll be very honest, so far I'm more excited about Yao Chan than I am about Lubu and everyone is excited about Lubu because he's supposed to be like, oh my god, that one OP commander. But hey, this should be very interesting for all of you free to play and low spenders. Yao Chan looks to be like a very nice and amazing commander. Dance of Chaos. For the next 4 seconds, all attacks have a 100% chance to deal direct damage multiplied 400 to the current target. That's 800, that's 1600 altogether. Again, it's not going to be considered as a 1600 because it's smaller nukes, but still, that's a lot of damage packed, yo. Damage and healing with a couple of stats. She's a very decent commander, yo. And you want to know something? As crazy as it sounds, she could fit very well as a second to maybe even Richard Charles, like a very defensive commander. Definitely. Maybe even second to Constantine, because attack and defense, this can boost any kind of troops. And then you have the, the healing after each skill, the 500 healing over here after using an active skill. And this will be very interesting because I believe this might just triggered by primary and secondary as well. Because active skill is primary and secondary as well. If it's only her skill, is still... Okay, but it might just be triggered by primary and secondary. And that would be really amazing because with Constantine, you can put like counterattack skill from the support because she has the support as well. And that way, every time you get heal, you get that 9% attack for 3 seconds. And that's even more boost for this march. A lot of possibilities for her, which might sound really crazy, but I just don't see how someone would use them together he's a leadership i mean if you would have had an, a specialty like calves or infantry or archers then yeah i would see them putting them together but leadership commander leading i just don't see that happening as a second in command yes maybe to some other commanders if you plan to buy him and max him out that's entirely your choice but again i'm more hyped about diao chan than i am hyped about him to be honest so i hope you're super hyped about the full description of the skills of these two commanders as i'm super hyped as well we will see when the official release of this co two commander is going to be 
how exactly their skill description is going to be that's going to be the most accurate one but like i said on this website they have never failed they always showed the right stuff so until next time this is your boy legend ronnie signing off let me know in the comment section below what do you think so far about these two commanders and let's have a discuss over there let's bring the discussion peace out yo and take care see you on the next one and stay safe out there